My name is Gaspard. This castle is cursed. And everybody has taken on a different form. Gaspard uh, pulls out once again a long piece of paper. A standard mercenary contract employing you for a new one-off freelance position to break the curse of Castle Saint Sauveur. I'm in. Today's the beginning of our lives. <sighs> Today we become adventurous and not mercenaries. A moth lands on the top of Fernie and is just watching you and on and is just like, oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Right? This is sick. Isn't this so sick? This moth thinks this is sick. What's your, wait, what's your name? Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Sword AF. My name is Damien. I am your DM. It's my first time DMing, so thanks for coming along for the ride. Also going around the table, we have our beautiful cast of characters and our new uh, miniatures made by Stitched Crow. Thank you very much, Stitched Crow. When we last left our heroes, they had just met the Castellan of San Savour and delivered the moon water. Uh, however, they only got paid a little bit, enough for one job, nowhere near enough to make up for the job that they botched previously. Seeing that they were four heroes and not the usual delivery person, Tillop, Gaspard, the Castellan of San Savour, offered them another contract, asking them to break the curse of the castle. In exchange, he would give them whatever was in his power to give. After sleeping on it, and having an eventful night with a lot of character development and a little bit of patty cake, they decided to sign the contract, binding them to the castle until the contract is fulfilled. I thought he was gonna give us a boatload of money. When you finish. A vault. I don't think a boat was ever involved. There was no boat. You four have just signed various effigies that are kind of like your name, I suppose. And Gaspard rolls it back up and says, ah, good, a contract is a contract. Well, Get to it. Is there a map of the house? I don't know how to break the curse. I would have done it myself. Yeah, do you have um, uh, any like uh, strange areas that you suspect we go in first? A any parts that hmm. you think are any this? suspicious activity. Yeah. Well, there is this library. There is a lot of information here. Usually when you don't have any information, you could start at the library. Um, now that you are part of the castle, I suspect you would also be able to talk to our inhabitants. And then um, you start to hear some of the windows go like, talk to us, talk to us, oh. talk to us, talk to us. The moon window. He didn't even say anything to me last night. I think we just call it a normal window. It's a no it, anything, you can see whatever through there. Oh. It's not built just for well, the it, moon. Well, it is facing the moon. Oh my gosh. I can go talk to that boar head now. <laughs> because you're part of castle. Oh, okay, let's go God. talk to the boar head. Let's go talk to the boar head. Good, because you can't read, so we can go to the library. <laughs> wow, harsh. <laughs> Sorry, I just meant like <laughs> we could split up, but if we want to no, stay together. He, he, he's right. Yeah, I, I, I'm right. Okay, are we gonna split up? No. Let's go to the library. Are okay. you okay? Yes. Well, you're here. We oh. made it. You know what? You're rude. I'm, I'm just going to say it. I'm you're sorry. rude, wow. and I don't like that. I, I don't like know that, how Doris. many times like that. that you can Thank ask you, me Coda. how to break the curse that I already don't know how to break, and you're like, let's go to the library, and there's a lot of books. I've had a, I've had a night, and I just wanted a map. I just wanted a map. Our cartographer sorry. was the down pervert. <laughs> oh, oh, that makes sense. You're, you're what? Cartographer. He the pervert? people's butts. Oh, Fernie. No. <laughs> no, he's got it, he's right. <laughs> There's the one that you killed. How much is okay. there to map? Depends on whose butt it is. Two different continents. Uh, are there any ladders in this library? Yes, of course! Yeah, we Just so I can that. reach the other shelves of the book. Unless so, Fernie wants to, you know. In a rift that divides them. <laughs> <laughs> so Gaspard uh, looks over to the uh, ladder, like it's, it's a typical like sort of sliding ladder on one end of the bookcase, and he grabs it. He says, "When you are in the light," and then it stops immediately because that's as long as the bookshelf is. And he's like, "Well, there it is. Take a look." Thanks. Oh, I cool climb song. up it. Yeah. So, what do you see up there? What, what kind of book are you looking for? Um, I think I'm just looking for anything, um, anything suspicious. So I'm, I'm, a lot of these books, it feels like, aren't really like, like suspicious to me. I'm, I'm just looking. Okay, so you're just seeing if there's anything out of place. Yeah, yeah. Roll, that would be for me perception, if you're just okay. trying to tell if anything is different. Okay, seven plus two. Okay, so uh, Bug, you haven't seen a whole lot of books in your life, so honestly for you it's, 
kind of more or less all the same. There's some that are bound in leather, some that are more cotton bound, others that are just, you know, a little bit older, a little bit newer, but you're not specifically seeing anything that's different. Yeah, maybe I'm looking at the books and I'm like, any of you guys want to fight? <laughs> Anybody One of them pops its head out and is like, no, not me! <laughs> and then pops back in. Ooh. The books can talk. Only I can! It's a very lonely life! Wow. I am neither dead! Can I ask that book a question? We. Oui. Oh, great. Hi. <laughs> I have a question for you. Mm. We are looking to break a curse. Right. For this, for our friend. I know that dance! <laughs> I don't like anyone here. Can I open you up and read your contents, or can you tell wow, me? Wow, madam, rude. Can I see if there's any, um, you know, information about the curse in your book? You know, when I was cursed and transformed into a book, I was curious as well where, oh, what would be written inside of me? I had someone look. It's a bunch of pictures of organs. Spooky. So you're a medical book. I guess. I look at Fernie and I go, oh gosh, Dolores is going to be so horny for this book. Yeah, so, he's gonna anyways. Wanna, she's going to spread that book open and blow its back out. <laughs> <laughs> and you look over and Dolores is just like her hands are just rubbing the back and the front and she's just going. Whoa, that's not, whoa. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Wow. Okay, so soft. Ugh. What did you look like when you were a human? Yeah. Well, and I roll. Can... I roll for investigation. I'm looking at the biggest bookshelf. Amazing. Three. Three. Oh shit. <laughs> plus, plus five. Eight. Coda, to the right of you, there's this very ornate, very special uh, bookcase. So you can tell, like, if there's anything fancy or elegant, that's exactly where you would put it. But you don't care about that because you're looking at the bottom shelf of the one to the left of it. It looks very shoddily put together. Um, there is a picture book uh, about a happy little squirrel and uh, you're just, you're enamored with that. I grab it and I'm, I go, Fernie, look. Whoa. It's a picture book with squirrels. Oh, yeah, 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 no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you'd like it. I, I love squirrels, that's awesome. Because it rhymes with girl, well, remember? It well, yeah, does but rhyme does. with girl. Okay, well I'm not They're getting much out of I'm not getting much out of this book because you haven't told me anything. I don't know anything. I'm a person. And I, Dolores just shoves You're not even asking him. me any questions. You're like, wow, well, out. You're just like, what are you? Doing? Who are you? Do you know anything about the curse? Yeah, I was here. Anything else? Yes. What? Ask me. Thank you. Can I ask you about the curse? Yes, do it. I'm asking you, what is the curse? <laughs> okay, thank you. Huh. I ha hate okay, everybody okay, here. Okay. There was this witch, right? And she basically, like, we promised her, like, a prince baby, and but we didn't give it to her. And so she transformed all of us into a furniture. We ha we've actually heard this story. Okay, well, geez, sorry. Any new information or anything? I don't know what's near to you. Right. There was a whole situation with, like, the witch got mad, <laughs> we all got transformed. I like this one. <laughs> mm -hmm. I am not attracted heard, at all anymore. Oh, I have a question. Sure. We heard the prince got turned into a plate. Yeah. Do you know what the plate might have looked like? Normal plate, like white and okay. normal. Is there, any, is there any specialty about the plate so that if anything were to happen to the plate, we would know? Nope, that's part of the punishment. It looks just like all the other plates. Mm. So really, if something happened to one plate, it could have been anybody, when but you, it also could have been the prince. When you were still a person, what was your favorite, or I guess this castle didn't exist when you were still no, a person. No, I was a baby. I, I grew up here. Well, was there like a place that you loved to, to go? Oh yeah, I loved going into like, the cistern, like there was a very special place. I don't remember the way anymore, but I remember I had to do something special to get into it. To get into the cistern. The cistern. Okay, so where did this witch go? Oh, that's a good question. Does she live in this castle now? Wow. Okay, so Dolores just slams shut the book. Ow, my asshole! <laughs> and, and pushes the book in between the, the, the other books. The pressure made air fly <laughs> everywhere. Oh. <laughs> You'd think a God. book's asshole would be on the outside, right? Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't care. think that. <laughs> I, didn't. <laughs> I didn't like him. Anyway, what? I'm looking for a book on witches. Okay. Ooh. Give me an investigation roll. Ten. Ten. Plus five. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, so um, you notice in this very ornate bookcase, there is one book that does look a little bit 
odd. Um, maybe a little bit older than the rest. And it has uh, a dragon's head on the bottom and a harpy coming down from the top. So you can tell it's a book on monsters. Ooh, okay, um, grab it. Okay. And... <gasps> Another, <laughs> uh, Kevin's like, <laughs> like uh, lies by. Um, all right, so you open it up and you search on through and you get to the section, not on witches specifically, but hags. <laughs> I take offense, I don't know why. <laughs> Dolores, you're much prettier than a hag. Okay, let's Thanks, see. Thanks, Coda. You're welcome. So you're searching through mm -hmm. and your eye rests on one type of hag and that is a hearth hag. Okay. Um, and you see the description. They are terrible fiendish beings that seek out babies in order to turn them into more of their kind. These are known for setting up domiciles and building locations out almost as nests, and they can use them to spawn children of their own. Oh, shit. <gasps> huh? Um, is this a nest? You guys? It's just like, um, oh, I was about to say alien. <laughs> it's just like, it is just like alien though. You guys, it's just like, uh, um, what's like, bees. Bees do that, don't they? Do bees do that? Ants, ants do that. Do what? Uh, they, they take prey and they make a mound and then they take prey back to the queen and the queen feeds on the prey. <gasps> oh yeah, you like ants. That's, but Ernie, she does roll, this roll with... a nature check for me. 16 plus. Uh, 16 plus um, uh, two. Oh. Two, so Coda saying this awakens something in you. And we get a solid two minute monologue <laughs> about ants. So yeah, so ants, the way they find their, their burrow and the way they, the queen gets created and all this stuff and like, and like yeah, a montage happens. He's so as he, as he drones out and is explaining, you all start to realize that this was maybe the most apt <laughs> yeah. metaphor that Coda could have ever dropped, and Fernie is a wellspring of knowledge. And, and that's how ants. That, that was actually That really... was actually incredible. Sorry that we keep saying actually before we compliment Yeah, you. that was actually, uh, that was... Incredible. Actually, incredible. Yeah, that was... You're actually, you're, you're a good, Purse thing. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm friends with a few colonies. Okay, so <laughs> if she, if this witch of this castle feeds on for her prey, and that means her prey is her plates? No, no. the prey is this. <laughs> the babies. The her prey? baby or her plates? I now feel like I didn't really explain it. Yeah. Well. yeah, can you give it to us I, again? I Run it back. Like, okay. So, anyways. <laughs> so, uh, you give another incredible two minute monologue. Uh, we see shots of Gaspar just like crying in the distance, just like nodding and like, let him have it, son. Um, wow. <laughs> so the physicality makes sense for Anne. Yeah. So Gaspard is in the corner just like tending this flower, like spraying it with the moon water and just looking over and just like. <laughs> yeah. I have a quick question. That's... I have a quick answer. I hope they match. <sighs> You're, you've been single your whole life. Um, so this cool. flower that you've had. Oh, there was one. <laughs> well, you see, and it pauses for another five minute monologue. No! Oh, and wow. Fernie, for some sap, comes out of Fernie's <laughs> eye hole. <laughs> um, and he goes back and to Dolores you. is just like. Um, <laughs> anyway, so this flower that you are holding, mm. wh what is it for? I know not what it was for. You see, when the hag gave us this curse, she gave us no clue on how to break it, only gave me this flower and told me that as the Castellon, it was my duty to make sure it was okay. I had to take care of it. So Lest we all die. The curse oh. has to do with the flower. So you knew it was a hag and you didn't tell us. I said witch. You said hag. Hag, hag. witch, it's all a woman. Oh <laughs> my, <laughs> I Bugs. do not. No sir. I, I am a uh -uh. wooden robot and I am offended. I smack, wow. I smack bug across the head. And no! Oh, I'm sorry! Doing on arm strikes, see how much damage it does. <laughs> Four. That's a four. Uh, so Coda, being incredibly strong as Coda is, um, and maybe fueled up a little, fired up a little toasted, a little fiery from last night, uh, gives you a solid whack in the temple. It's four damage wow. to you, Bug. Four damage. It's four damage. Oh. That's not how we talk about women, Bug. That's true. I have never been more proud, honestly. Thank you. Of course. Bug, no hug this time. 
<gasps> no hug for bug. I want to hurt you. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm already having a rough life. <laughs> okay. So why don't you uh, fulfill your contract? Ask me questions, whatever oh, you... I get you up and I'm like holding my cheek and I'm like, bug, don't act like it hurts. And then I look at you and I'm like, I've re never realized my name rhymes with a hug. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I did. Uh, do you... Do you, where, do, have you seen the hag since she, have you seen the witch since oh, she left? Yeah, she's right over there. No, like, I don't know, <laughs> no. like, okay, like she disappeared after, well, did you go to the University of Dumb Questions? Where's Why the, are you looking at me? I don't know, you're Next, mad at me. Where, I go to school. Where's the cistern? Oh, the cistern, that has been sealed for many years. The no, place where been, you used to play as a kid? That's not, that was the book. Where do you think you are right now? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just got freaking whacked by my hero. Sorry if I need a couple <clears throat> minutes to get my bearings straight. Bug, what? your face is beat red if that's possible. <laughs> As a blue goblin, <laughs> it is impossible. <laughs> well, you see, the cistern, uh, that has always been at the base of the castle, but due to a collapse of some kind or a blockage, none of us have gone there in many years. It's, uh... I guess on the first floor, back through the middle. I don't remember. It's been hundreds of years. Okay, first floor, back through the middle. What? Yeah. I don't. Know, it's been hundreds of years. I don't know. Okay. Maybe go there. Go look. I don't know. We'll go. All right. Okay. Let's. Let's go. Let's go. I have one stop I want to make on the way there. Yeah. Oh. Talk to the boar. Okay. You already knew. <laughs> yeah. Well. Before we talk to the boar, which is most important to me. Yeah. Okay. Second up, I want to look at this flower really quick. Yeah. And see if I can, because I've I've been around flowers before. Yeah, I have some on me sometimes. Yeah, you're in blue. Is that they, grow a, out, they grow out of me, and I don't know what to do with about it. Is that a brag? It's totally. It's fine. Cool. <laughs> it's fine. You're in blue don't right to, now. Nobody has to freak out about it. <laughs> okay. It's very normal. Okay, here we go. The bra. Sixteen plus uh, for nature. Two, so eighteen. Eighteen. All right. So you, Fernie, you have a strong connection with the forces of nature, specifically plants. So you're looking at this flower. And at the base of it, you realize um, it isn't just a single plucked flower. There's a root to it. You can tell it's actually growing out of the table that it's on. And as you look kind of under the table, you see that there's no space beneath it. And while you can't look past where it is necessarily, you can tell that you know you give it a, a little tug and there's, there's no give. It is a very strong root system tied to this flower. Okay, so this flower, it, it, it's 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 growing out of this table. Okay. This is like, I I know nature. This is weird nature. Okay. Yeah. This is some messed up nature. It's yeah. it's connected to the castle. Or the witch. Ooh. Maybe the witch is using it. Can you just time. pull it? I guess I could try to pull it. Gaspard's like, no 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 no! Don't do anything to the flower. I was tasked with this job, to keep the flower safe. Gaspard. Look at it all you want, but. Gaspard, protector of flowers. You're a frog. No. You're a frog? No. That's a f***ed up thing to say to no. a friend. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you told us you were I know, cut it out. Uh, I Above know, board, it's out. funny. <laughs> I've never liked you, Gaspard, whatever the f*** your name is. It's, you got it. You uh. All right, no, don't, please, please, I beg of you, don't. Fine. I don't think we should pull it out. I cast okay. detect magic on the table to see what else is going on. The okay. table and the flower. Okay, great. Um, so this uh, this flower, you see glowing at the base of it is this, again, light blue mist. Um, and this The light, same mist from the dagger. Potentially, it's a light blue mist. And you, uh, detect magic only goes so far, but you can see a root system line going about two feet down through the table and sort of out back into the castle, out and down. Um, but at a certain point, the stone gets a little bit too thick for you to see the magic through. Um, but you can tell it, it is running down. Okay. There's a trail of- You detected the magic? I did. Yeah. I think we should go down to the cistern. Yes. Uh, These roots go down through the castle, so yeah. I think we should go Let's down. Go down we should go to the cistern. You know who's probably gonna know more about the cistern? The, the boar. The boar. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go talk yeah. to the Let's, boar. Let's stop I feel by like the if boar. we don't, you're not gonna let it, it go. Yeah. I'm so excited to talk to this boar. Okay, okay. that's good. Go. 
Yeah, it makes me feel. Does really anyone want any pie? No, no, please. We must go to the. Oh, okay. Y'all leave the library, and you're making your way down uh, back to the second floor hallway. Again, it's sort of like a around the stairs situation with all these different doors with symbols above them denoting what these doors are. But in the middle of this area, um, before you get to the trophy room, is a boar head, which Fernie previously tried to talk to. <laughs> but now you have the magic of the castle within you, and you are part of things. So, um, Fernie, what do you do? I walk straight up to the boar head, I look it right in the face, and I say, all right, now you can talk to me. Oh, I'm so glad. No one's tried to talk to me for so long, because I, I'm stuck out here by myself. I was outside by myself when we all got Bernie starts to slowly step Wait, back. I'm gonna tell you a pretty cool story just, about. Just slowly steps back. back. He just like, like walks back. Grabs to Bugs' you guys. shoulder. Thursday, Let's go. Might have been a Tuesday. And he keeps backing up. It. Wednesday. Uh, I I step back too. Friday. I think we should check on the plates. The plates, oh, right. Yeah, yeah. sorry, I, we gotta check on the plates. Yep. See ya. So I, I had a plate once. Bye. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, uh, I say, wow, he was boring. Oh, that was really funny. <laughs> Bernie, Bernie looks at me and starts to slowly step back. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's such a bore, you guys get it? Okay, well let's go check on the plates. Yeah, right. yeah, and, then, and, and maybe just be ready just in case like maybe we like killed their prince. I don't know if we did kill their prince. Yeah. Words or spells, let's not let's not do that. Yeah, great. Right. right, totally. Yeah. You got it. But also like maybe we did Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Let's go well, let's go see. Okay. And I'm just gonna hit this restroom that's in between these two doors really quickly. So you guys go see the plates and I'm just gonna hit this restroom. Oh, I've never seen you pee. What? <laughs> Why would you have? Ferdy <laughs> Ferdy looks at you and then he's like Ferdy, <laughs> uh, uh, you stumble backwards over the railing and then you land on the first floor and then you just do, 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 as you run back. And then up. I just run straight into the kit, into the, where the plates are. All right, so uh, you guys are waiting by the door, you know, collecting yourselves. Coda, I'm sure you're you're off on your own. We'll check on you in a minute. Great. Um, and uh, as you're starting to open the door, you can hear in the distance. That's how come I never found love. And the other thing I did. And so. Uh, you push your way through the door. I'm like pushing my way through the door. Bug is right behind me, and Fernie's just like <sighs> breathing behind us. Okay, so you enter, and right where you left it are these shards on the ground. Shards of these uh, plate and a cup. And around them in a circle are so many other plates um, and cups right at your feet. Um, and now you can hear what you couldn't before, just wailing and crying. <sighs> Um, oh, I and hate they, this. they look up at you, and a little cop just goes, Ah, oh, what the f? <laughs> oh, why? Why? Oh. He wanted to sing his little song for you. That's all he wanted. Uh, what the oh. f? Was okay, okay, so okay. They could be, they could be sad about another one of their Maybe it was their We're grandfather. We're so sad that the prince is dead now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Um, oh, no. You look over in the corner and there's a teapot just going uh, and just like shooting uh, tea everywhere. Oh, oh God, <laughs> I, I can't watch throw up. I, that's why I wasn't a nurse. There's, I've never seen a teapot like white girl waste it before. <laughs> oh. uh, it, it, it lands in a cup and the cup is just like and just like pours oh, it out God, again. Oh God, two um, girls. This is really One. Crazy. That's not even the first reference in this series that oh, has been that. made of that video. God damn. <laughs> um, so the cups are looking at you like, oh, we had that so many years to prepare a special song for visitors. And um, one of them, uh, one of the castle mages from back in the day, shows an illusion in their hands, replaying exactly what happened from their perspective. <laughs> so you <laughs> enter this door, and then um, all the plates are shaking, like I said, just shaking, shaking, and uh, mainly the one up in front, and this one goes, Go on, it's okay, you've practiced for so long. He's like, oh, but I am so nervous. And it's like, no, you've got this, our prince. Lead us, you have the solo in the song, you've earned it. It's like. We've earned it. So they take each other's hands, they walk up together as a pair, and then they start to launch into it. You are here! You are here! Ah! And just like shatter into dust with shards on the ground. And it was like, oh my god! And all the plates are shaking, shaking, shaking as you walk by. And when you raised your hammer at them, they stopped. It's a new thing we made up. I had no idea that it was a performance. I thought we were getting attacked. By a plate? Yes! Or what? Or what is even the worst case scenario of a plate? But also, 
I think it's. I think you should give us the benefit of the doubt. How are we supposed to know that the plate was an important, was an important monarch figure? We well, just thought it was a play. I guess but when you say it like that, you stopped our royal line. Oh my what god. The Oh, okay, wow. my heart is truly broken. I'm so sorry. Give him your, give him your, your pie. I'm so sorry. Want, that's my job. I carry those. I can't give him a pie. They're a plate that's broken. What's the point? Well, I thought, I didn't know a plate could be a king. I didn't know maybe it's my case. You are so lucky that Elizabeth is stuck in the kitchen as an oven. Eliz because no one is there to tell her anything about her betrothed. <laughs> Oh, she was betrothed to a to the prince. To the dead prince. So she's the oven? Wow, great choice. Of course, always right. make us the big object. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a day, okay? Uh, it's okay. She plates it here. And then Fernie's just like, she plates it. Bernie, here. no! <laughs> Bernie, no! He goes to the door. He's okay. like, just kidding. I'm just kidding. I think there's nothing we can do but apologize and walk out. I. Where? Apologize. Apologizing is not going to put our prince back together. Look at him. His body is over there. And his body is over there. Can I ask you a question? You just did? No! Why is everyone in this house annoying? <laughs> what? What? I'll tell you we... what. If everyone in the room is an asshole, you're the asshole. Shh. You killed the prince! Okay, <laughs> what are you gonna do if the prince is dead? Is there another person in the, uh, or is it done? Not really. No, the prince is dead. What about Bertha or whatever the f her name Elizabeth? is? Elizabeth? Yeah. <laughs> he was a very special prince. He was marrying the commoners, not nobility. Of course, the commoners and her last name's Girth. Great. Elizabeth is her first name. <laughs> okay, well, even worse. Her last name is Saint Trash. I <laughs> hate <laughs> this place. You know what? I'm I'm ready to go because we killed the prince and you know what? He probably was a shit man. He was the most perfect man of all. Oh god. Maybe he was the one good man. He I don't was. <laughs> I'm but, saying. Okay, let's just apologize and leave. Should we let Alyssa Girth? No, I hate that. I don't want to go talk to an oven and apologize to it. <laughs> I've already been slapped by my hero. I want to go home. We can't go home, bug. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't have signed this contract. Maybe we should have just delivered the thing and gone. We haven't even gotten into combat yet, and I don't want to do this. Stop. Hey, pull it together, <laughs> can Dolores. Don't, you dare <laughs> slap me. Yeah. Dolores. Yeah. Uh, roll to hit, because bug is not distracted this time. <laughs> you should slap Bug, stay. Just slap. snap out of it. 15. It, that hits. Holy shit. Holy shit, that hits. Snap uh, out of it. Roll your damage. <laughs> roll your damage for a D4. Meaty hooks. Three. Mm. All right, Jesus so you damage to Bug. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. <laughs> oh my God, thank you. That woke me up a little bit. Great. Okay. Can we go? You're right, let's get out of here. Okay, let's go. So y'all two are gonna head over to the kitchen. Um, what are you doing, Fernie? Uh, after they leave, I turn to the plate and I just go, so where, where are you broken? It's just like, is that on the where, where is he, where is he, sorry, uh, where, where is he broken? Well, you notice how most plates are like one piece and there's like mm -hmm. 15? I don't understand the question. Mm -hmm. So, uh, because I'm like, you know, a tree, tree robot, uh, I, I, I have this, I sure, can Sure, because that's a thing. I can okay. mend things. I can mend a plate. If, it's, it's a good thing he's not a person. You're a necromancer. Uh, no, I wish. No, I'm a druid. Don't meet many of them around here, huh? No, we've been, <laughs> what, no. <laughs> There's not even anything to rest his arm on. It's just like, <laughs> chung, chung. <laughs> uh, so all right, uh, all right, everybody do, relax. Do I'll fix him. Do you have to roll for anything? The spell repairs a single break or tear in an object you touch, uh, so, such as a broken chain link, two halves of a broken key, a torn cloak. Uh, but uh, no, it's it's that's it. Touch. It's instantaneous. All right, so that's Fernie sick as. F just <laughs> 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 okay, so Fernie, um, you see. Uh, this shattered plate uh, rearranged itself so that the cracks are still visible, but you can see the exact breaking point. Um, and they start to slowly stitch themselves together in a way that you can tell the plate was broken. You can very much see these breaking points, but they are now once again connected. Prince! <laughs> ah! 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 Is that what he sounded like before? Not even close. <laughs> <laughs> but what the f did you do to the prince? <laughs> but he is free. He's alive. <laughs> My work here is done. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I don't know what, what that, that is. I'm just gonna walk. I'm gonna. I'm gonna turn to everyone and be like, be like, 
This will be our little secret for now. It'll be funny. You say don't, that to the cops and uh, bites? Yeah, I'll be like, don't, don't tell them. It'll be a fun little surprise because they all think that the prince is dead. Roll intimidation. Okay. <laughs> My intimidation is like, hey, come on. We'll keep yeah. it a secret. Uh, that is a one. <laughs> um, so, uh, hey, that's a, keep this little secret. That's a natural one. Uh, so, Shane, they look at you and they're like, you know what? No. I am going to tell everyone that I know. In fact, I'm going to invent a new method of communication just to do it. Or my name isn't Jacques Telegram. No. Uh, <laughs> and Fernie, Fernie looks at them all, <laughs> and he's just like this. He just goes. <laughs> he leaves the room. Uh, door just off its hinges. You just walk through. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Dolores and Bug, hearing this, uh, do you follow? Yeah. Yes. Right, yeah. Great. We gotta get down there. Uh, something, I think a door just... Let's go to the sister! Ah! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> we gotta get Coda! Where's um, Coda? Meanwhile, in the town of Citysville. <laughs> um, Coda, you enter this room again. Here in the cold light of day, you can see the wall on the left has scorch marks the likes of which you've never seen. As does the ground, a line all the way down. Um, but beyond that, no changes. The dagger is lying right there. Okay, I go forward and I grab it. Okay. A and then I walk out of the room. Okay. Okay, and then I close the door behind me. Great. Coda, we're going to the cistern. Oh. Hey, Coda. And I will meet you down there. Is the trophy room right above? Trophy room is uh, basically right next to where the boar head was. Okay, I, I walk and I hear screaming. Also, uh, you, there's another time. And I get the fuck away from him, and I open the door, and the glass case is there. Yes, the glass case is there, uh, and there are two uh, suits of armor that are just like boo, -hoo -hoo, oh. boo. -hoo -hoo. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm gonna put it back. I'm gonna put it back. Oh, Mama's back home. Oh, oh, we missed Mama so much. Oh. And the dagger's like, honey, we're coming home. Oh my God. I, I <laughs> Ma'am, I am so sorry. Oh. I did not know you were alive. You I, were so rude to me. I, oh, what do you mean I was rude to you? You took me out of my glass. Okay, bed. well, I'm gonna put you back in your I glass, ma'am. Well, no harm, no foul, okay. I suppose. And I agree. Here we go. I'm gonna sit Thank on the ground you. really quick. Is that okay? It's been so long since I've been touched by me. Okay, ma'am. Okay. 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 I'm just gonna put you back in there. Okay, boys. <laughs> Thanks for bringing our mama back. Boo. <laughs> no, no, no problem, boys. <laughs> Boo. She's nope. not magical at all. Boo. -hoo. This is inconsequential. Boo. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. She's not cursed. No. She's just a dagger. Yeah. And she's your mom. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. You. Yeah. Uh, so as you're leaving um, to catch up with the rest of your group that has gone downstairs, you just feel like, oh, I'm thinking it's probably the last no. time. I'm gonna Jesus be Christ. Be really long time. So you run downstairs to be with them. Oh, sorry. What is a cistern? Cistern. Oh, wow. Cistern. Cistern. Well, you know how you can have like a cistern or a brother. And... Uh, why did I ask? I don't. Okay. Mm hmm. We yeah. have a lot of work to do. <laughs> um, and it's funny because I definitely know what a cistern is. Great. What is it? No, I, I know what it is, and I'm going to tell Roll you. Roll deception. <laughs> <laughs> it's a four. Minus one. Okay, so that's a three. Coda, I would like you, with the most bold face possible, to tell everyone here what a cistern is. Loud and proud. Come on, hero of mine. Hey, tell uh, me what it uh, is. Suddenly, something <laughs> opens up in Fernie's chest that, or like in his like lower abdomen, where it's like this one of those like readers. And it's like. D -d 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 <laughs> okay, um, a cistern is someone that you kind of hire to do the work for you for free that identifies as a female. Cistern. Like intern, but cis. Bernie, when it goes really high, does that mean he's telling the truth? No. Oh. <laughs> okay, I don't know what a cistern is. Well, I know what a cistern is. It is a Please place. Please roll deception. <laughs> oh, no, you don't know either? I. <laughs> so this is another four? It's no. a six okay. plus five, 11. 
Okay, make up whatever lie you wanted to lie. So a cistern, pretty easy, pretty cool place. Um, it's underneath castles normally, and it's usually where holy men come together to say prayers and read the Bible and, um, you know, basically shoot the shit and smoke cigars and uh, connect with the Lord. And I've never been invited <laughs> ever in my life. And it's uh, it says sister in it, but it's a lie. Oh. Well, the 90s lie detector test on Fernie seems good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so given that 90s lie detector test, um, you all believe her. So now you know you are looking out for a, like a church lounge. Okay. Uh, you know, like a castle, like church lounge. Yeah, okay. I, for um, I love a church lounge. Great, so um, you make your way down through this area and uh, you find yourselves uh, going behind the master staircase and seeing that this, this castle stretches on for so much longer than you expected. More doors on every side. And all the way down, you can see there is one area that is much larger than the rest. Uh, one door that is clearly made for larger things to come in and out. And there is a uh, halberd and a blade as a symbol above it. Yeah, I want to go in the... You guys, I think we should go in the... This looks like an armory to me. <gasps> Ooh. Like uh a cistern. Like a cistern. Mm. No. Okay. <laughs> um, I open the door to that, whatever that is. Amazing. So you enter, and you are correct, Coda. It is an armory. Mm. You can see on the wall um, so many different swords of so many different shapes and sizes, so many daggers of so many different shapes and sizes, halberds, um, staves, uh, crossbows, boomerangs, axes, all of these things, a couple shields here and there. But you can tell that a lot of them have been uh, lost to the ravages of time because without anyone to maintain this armory, um, they have rusted, they have uh, shown their age. Um, but you can look around as you will. And then in the center of this room, there is another door further back uh, and you can't quite see what the symbol is above it. I don't know, these weapons are pretty. No, they look jank. Yeah, what's in that door? Okay, Fernie walks up to that door and tries to open it. Okay, so uh, even given your strength, this door will not budge. Um, it is absolutely sealed shut, and you can tell that there is a colossal metal lock on the front. They did not want people getting in here. But looking through the bars of the window, these slats, you can see inside <gasps> more riches than you've ever seen in your life. These are riches beyond what you would have expected in a children's book. Gold, floor to ceiling, treasure chests everywhere. Beautiful, ornate crowns um, and circlets and golden armor that is clearly not used for battle but is there for royalty. Fernie's head turns 180 and he goes, I found the vault. <laughs> and then I go, see, I knew it. I knew we should have followed our dreams and done this. This was the right move. We are so close to becoming who we really want to be and getting all this money. And then I'm going to get lessons on how to be a better fighter. From, From who? who? I don't know, with all my money. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. So what if I just, what if I just, what if I just busted open this door with my thighs? What if I just pushed right through it, like kicked? Okay, number one, ew. Number two, okay. we have a curse to break. We signed a contract. Okay, so we're still figuring out like whatever this is, right? So we are in, we're down here looking for what said curse. So we can't go in the vault. Yeah, because no. that doesn't look like priests smoke cigars. In there. And these weapons look like shite. Yeah. Right, we have to go to the cistern. Can I roll investigation to see if there's any Yes, you can. Yeah. Thank you. 16. Wait, this is so hard to read. 16, 16 yeah. yeah. Plus five. 16 plus five, 21. So, Coda, you are a blade singer. Now, you may not know much about boomerangs or shields, uh -uh. halberds, uh -uh. but if there's one thing that you know, mm -hmm. it's swords. Mm -hmm. And the ravages of time be damned. Mm -hmm. There are a couple of swords here that clearly have something special about them. Now, this is a castle armory. You don't know if this is magic or just high craftsmanship, whatever. But there are some quality, quality items here. And the, the, the two swords that are closest to the vault door yeah. are 
clearly of a high quality. Okay. Their metal is marbled in a way. You can see it's been layered over high, high temperatures, um, making it almost like a, like a rippling steel. So the one on the left is um, a shape that you would maybe associate more with like a uh, falchion. The handle is ornate silver. Um, and you can tell that the actual, excuse me, the hilt is, but rather the handle is uh, very rigid and strong and has an emerald at the end of it. Okay. This, this other one is uh, very long and slender. Um, the pride of San Savur. Are they both one-handed weapons? They are. Ooh, you guys, yeah? I'm gonna take one of these swords. Which one? Oh, I'm any. I think the um, ornate one. Silver. <laughs> yeah, I think they're both ornate. Yeah. They okay. are both ornate, as are Just all things one. in the castle. The one that's not r rusted. Mm. Uh, oh, that's tough. Well, that one has a cool green gem on it, and I think I like that. Let's go with that one. Okay. Grab it. You got it. Shing. Um, so you put the falchion in your uh, in your sort of like extra. Where, where the did dagger. You? I have a dagger. I have you have a, a dagger. dagger. Okay, great. So um, it is very rusted as of now, but maybe <gasps> a little bit with some work, oh. um, you can do some. Oh like, <laughs> you can't put it back. Okay. I don't think you can put it no, back. I mean, they're, they're everything's rusted. Okay, great. So um, <laughs> maybe with a little bit of work, um, right. you'll be able to get it to a point where it's usable. Yeah. Bug, did you want to grab the other sword? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, hey, Fernie, will you grab it for me? Oh, yeah. I can't reach it. I can grab it because you, since you said you can't reach it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. I, Fernie, will you hold it for me? Because I have nowhere to put it. It's, it's bigger than me. Fine. He like opens up just like a little compartment, just like puts it there and like closes it. It's like it. sticking out, just like you slam the door and it's just like out of there like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to go to the cistern. Let's go to the cistern. I've never smoked a cigar before, so I'd love to. I don't know if they have them there. I was just, you know. I'm right. ready to fight! So uh, y'all exit this room and see on either side of you there are two doorways. Um, one of them has a symbol above it with a uh, uh, with stained glass and smoke. Ooh. Right, um, and it looks like a little man like thinking with something coming out of his mouth. A cigar. Okay. Uh, and then to the left there is another door whose symbol has been rubbed off with time, um, and there's. Uh, some rubble around the foot of the door. Um, what do you do? Blockage. Yes. What? Remember he said there's a blockage to the cistern. Oh! <gasps> Fernie, you're brilliant! What? Okay, <laughs> I think that we should go in the one with the rubble down below. Dolores, he's yes. clearly smoking a cigar. I know, but you heard Fernie. I'm trying to practice trust. But you did say that a cistern is, is a, a church. place where, where they smoke cigars, and that's you, very You were clear. very right. clear there's with the another, cigar. There's another uh, cistern. Oh. Yeah, oh. it's crazy. Oh, I know, so they both use the multiple same. Multiple kinds. Roll deception. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yep. One. That is a nat one. So, Plus um, five. That's still a nat one. Okay. Nat one <laughs> happens. So um, everyone, you've never seen through a lie so clearly in your life. In fact, you all remember what a cistern is. For a cistern Fernie's is- the thing opens, just like, just like <laughs> <laughs> a cistern Oh no, it's is, the 90s thing again. <laughs> you remember that a cistern is a place where water is stored and gathered in a castle. Yes. Um, and so uh, knowing this, you all look at Dolores. I just remember what the ants told me about cisterns. <laughs> I was, I like was so Cistern lost during Cistern of this. the traveling ants. <laughs> what? <laughs> you guys are <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> um, disgusting. I can't believe you would lie to us, but I also can't believe that that is also something that really exists where people smoke cigars. Thank you. So that's still pretty cool. Thank but, you. but what is that called? Cistern. And that's not what it's called. A cigar lounge. Oh. It's for adults. I just wanted to. I, I didn't know what a cistern it's, was, okay? It, you, can, okay. you can hear from the other side of that door. They're like, hey, are people talking out there? Why not come into our church lounge? That's what this is. Do 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 do. I'm actually good. No. I'm actually yeah, very well, good. another thousand years of solitude. Do 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 do. Okay, I go in the blockage. Let's go door. into the blockage. Very okay. good. So as you try to um, open this door, uh, water spills out from underneath. Ooh. And you see that there are these cobbly little stones that have made their way under the door, making it a little bit hard to open, even open the thing. And as you open the door, you're faced with this wall of stone. 
And where you think it would usually be a cave in with lots of little boulders here and there, it's actually a pretty solid stone slab. Um, almost completely sealed off to a point that looks intentional and in a way that you're not quite sure how it would even get into this hallway. Can I detect magic? You can. So you... <laughs> <laughs> so you, Bug, are detecting magic and you start to see something very familiar. This blue line, right? Going from the middle of this area. But it's not just a single blue line, it's branching out, almost like a, like a root structure. And it's headed all the way up and it stops two feet above the ceiling. So you can't see past two feet of stone, but it gives you the idea that there might be something root-shaped continuing upward. I don't know, guys. <laughs> what do you see? I feel your goblin like you hands. saw something. Something is in this wall, and it's going up. <gasps> the roots from the table and the flower. Guys, <gasps> there is something it's growing. The, I, I think it's, it's the, I, I really think we should have tugged on that flower. This goes all the way to the top. <laughs> what? I wish I had a cigar right now. <laughs> Let hey, did someone say that there's a cigar? No, no. we're good. Trust me, we do not want to hang out with those guys, okay? They've been alone for a guys, decade. this is all connected. <laughs> I've been tough by a woman in years. No, thank you. <laughs> Although I am tempted, my God. Okay, no. It feels like we should just go back to that flower and do what what it felt like we should do, yes. which is yank it. And that guy doesn't want us to do yes. it. Because Bart. the witch doesn't want us to do it. Yes. Yes. Witch. He's cursed. He's cursed. He's overtaken by the curse. Okay. Okay. We just gotta pull that lever. Okay. Coda. I'll go. Go, Coda. Go. Okay. Do you want to yeah. take anyone? Sounds like Dolores wants to go. No, no, no. Do I don't want to go. go. No, I was thinking okay, maybe well, then I'm both. Gone. Okay. You go. I'm gonna go check out these cigars. Okay. Go get a cigar, but be. I'll be right back here. I'll be back here by the time you don't come back. Don't I'm serious. Don't let them convince you. I'm gonna go really quick. Anything. I just wanna go really quick. Okay. And, you go faster. And go. Go. All right. So we follow Coda first. Hi, uh, running bug. like this real quick. Uh, we follow Coda like uh, running really, really quick, and you make your way up there. You are back. I am. Did you, feel like, did you figure out anything? I did, but I'm gonna need you to step over there. Okay. Can you uh, roll persuasion for me, please? <sighs> Uh, 16 plus, mine, it's, it's 15. Okay, 15. Um, all right, so uh, Gaspard looks at you for a moment and is like, you know, the contract that you signed, I put a lot of trust in you, so I'm not going to second guess you now. <laughs> and he walks about 20 feet away into the corner and is like, is this good enough? Perfect. Perfect. And then I take out both swords and I shink. Ooh, okay, um, roll, roll to hit for me. Okay. So just see. 20. I mean, a natural 20. Is that our first like combat one? Yeah. No, no, Bug yeah, had one yeah. before. Oh, yeah. but, okay, so a natural 20. Um, Coda, you slice this flower so perfectly that it stays standing for just a moment until Ooh. and just sort of falls into a pile there. And Gaspar doesn't even have time to react before the flower itself lets out this horrifying shrieking wail. Almost sounds like a woman's voice screaming, spewing some black smoke, shriveling, and then winding down. And Gaspar goes, what? Why did you do this? I'll explain later. So, uh, Coda, you dash out of the room and head on back. Um, we cut mid-conversation to Fernie with these guys. And that's when I told him, <laughs> a cistern like, is a type of uh, a cistern is a type of a place where they store water, and that's where the witch is. But you got to cut the roots attached to the flower. Oh wow! We should have come over <laughs> here and talked <laughs> to you guys. Yeah. Well, you know, it's, everybody's a little bit different. Not everyone's into cigars. Oh, also, um, be wary of the vault. It's not everything you think it is. What? It's it a looked, whole situation. Was the, there was a golden suit of armor. Is that all? Well, yeah, the golden suit of armor is fine. It's the rest of it that you. And then, uh, as you're doing that, Coda. Bernie, let's go. Okay, yeah, it's not important. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> Tom's like, thanks for putting your mouth on me. <laughs> oh my God. Tom. Oh. So uh, Dolores and Bug, while this is all going on and you're hearing this commotion in the background, you see this stone um, become more and more transparent. Bug, Bug. Um, but I'm looking at you and I'm going, so the thing about imposter syndrome that I've been thinking about Bug. is the fact that I don't know my Honey, greatness. I totally and get it. sometimes I think I have to sit into Honey, oh my Look. God! So it's more and more transparent and it's, it's, you start to see this pearlescent <laughs> aspect to it where light is fading through and uh, it becomes completely clear but then cracks like stone. Are we dying? It falls all the way through. No, um, my hero must have cut the flower. 
Oh, Coda. Um, and you see from up above with all these broken stones, um, there's just dangling, uh, like broken, almost singed roots oh. that are looking to take hold and can't. <gasps> That's really sad. It means we're, <laughs> it's time to fight. Yeah, you really want to fight. Also, imposter syndrome. I understand. Me and Fernie burst in the door. Uh, hey, guys. Hey. Oh, it, it's gone. <laughs> Um, yeah. Wow. <laughs> so you're making your way into this cistern, and your feet give way from stone to just a couple of inches of murky, stagnant water. And you can oh. see that, you know, lining the walls here, um, coming from where you just came, there are roots that have now been decayed and desecrated. But around them, there isn't any muck or goo. Uh, Fernie, you being so close to the moon can tell that the moon water was running through here. Interesting. Um, and as you look inside, you just see uh, two things. You can see two shapes in the distance. One looks like this terrifying lizard bat beast, horrifying little monster. And next to it is just a little girl crying and holding it. And she looks over to you and goes, please, please don't hurt him. He didn't know what he was doing. Oh God, this really hurts. I think we're gonna have to hurt that thing. <laughs> I also, what if she's the witch? Probably. No, she's just a little girl. She's innocent. She doesn't know what she's doing. Dolores. What? Never trust little girls. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Horror movies for sure. God, I'm in open-toed shoes in this water. So am I. <laughs> so am I, okay? Uh, do all three of you think that this might be a witch? Yeah, can yes. I detect magic? If that is the case, uh, I think what might be better is uh, everybody give me a d20 roll for investigation right now. Okay. Dolores, okay. are you also inspecting this? 14. I want to inspect it because I want, to be, I want us to be wrong. 14 as well. I don't 14. want this little girl to be a witch. Six. One. My investigation one. is plus five. Oh, uh. Natural one? Just one. Okay, you've never seen anything that's more of a little girl in your life. <laughs> um, everybody else, you think something might be up, but it very much looks to you like a little girl from this distance. She continues to cry, please. He really didn't mean it. This is the only place we're safe. Okay. Please. Okay. I want to give her a hug. I just, I just think that she's in need. We need to save her. Well, maybe she knows. Hey, have you seen the hag? The what? The oh, hag. The, the hag. hag. Have you seen the hag? I probably doesn't even know what that means. I don't know what that is. Please. I know. Please. It's okay. But who are you? Who are you crying about? I'm just scared. No one's been in here for so long. I'm just so scared. <gasps> I noticed you're not an object. What? That's why I think it's the witch. Oh. I don't know. What hey, you little girl. Mean. What's your name? My name is. And her jaw opens wide. Oh, she just screams shit. at you. Screams. Everybody, roll initiative. Yeah. Okay. Well, I can't what? pronounce that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. y'all. Nine. Mine's ten. Uh, ten plus, I rolled. No, just ten. I rolled a six again. Plus, one more six. Plus. Plus one seven. Okay, Coda. <laughs> Five. Five. All right, now I gotta roll one more. Oh God. Okay, four. That's good. Um, so as she screams, um, this little girl com turns completely invisible. <gasps> So you are trying to listen to hear if you can hear this invisible little girl, but it's only now that you start to realize that the droplets that you're hearing in the distance aren't droplets, they're footsteps. They're everywhere. And there have been footsteps in this water for as long as you've been in this room. Immediately behind Bug, seemingly from out of the ether, completely invisible, claws appear and behind it a horrible, horrible looking woman green skin peeling off, bubbles and boils everywhere, white wiry hair, and she slashes at your face. Um, let's see here, that is a six, okay, so that's definitely gonna hit. Yeah. And she does, six, she does 10 damage to you. So she catches right on your cheek and hits a couple vital points. Um, immediately, the, the thing that is next to her rushes off in the water as well and begins getting some distance from you. What? It's with everybody today and hitting my face. Do you want pie? <laughs> no. Next up is Dolores. Dolores, you just watched Bug get slashed across the face from an invisible woman. Um, what do you do? She is visible now. This bitch is crazy. 
You did. You did. There it is. You there told, it is. You told us to trust her, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, I told you to trust her because she's a little girl, and that's that's probably what the witch was doing. That was your first yeah. mistake. I'm going to do some dissonant whispers. Ooh. Okay. This is the first time you've done this in game, right? Yep. This is the first time I've done it. Okay. So Dolores, you basically whisper a. Um, a series of words and sounds at a tune that just don't make sense. And if this thing fails its wisdom saving throw, um, then it is going to take a fair amount of damage from you. For any roll, roll nature for me, please. Sure. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's just a. It's a yeah. twenty, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that is a natural twenty. Fernie, you recognize that this neck? thing is a cockatrice. A cockatrice is a uh, bat lizard. A bird situation, and it's famous for its ability to turn living things into stone. Oh shit! Um, uh oh. Uh, so, how big is it? Uh, it is uh, actually pretty small. It's just dangerous. Like, think of it like if a snake was a dog. So Fernie so, turns tra in mid combat. He's straight. He's like, okay. And so here's the, and it's like him explaining the whole thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> so now you know what a cockatrice is, everybody. It's a cockatrice next to the hag. Um, what would you like to do? It's a cockatrice. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, next to the witch. So the cockatrice, I want to do the whispers to the cockatrice because I do not want that thing turning any of us into stone. Then we won't be useful at all. Very, very smart move. All right, so let's see here. This cockatrice is going to roll a wisdom save. So the cockatrice uh, rolls a three. It does not resist you, so it is fully susceptible to these dissonant whispers. Uh, Dolores, tell me about what these horrible things you whisper are. Are they even understandable to our ear? What does it sound Yes, like? they're understandable. Okay. It sounds like, you're doing a great job. Okay, so this, <laughs> this message confuses the hell out of the cockatrice, um, and it takes a lot of damage. Its mind starts to tear at it, great and it just job, hears the great sweetie. job, and it can't even understand your language. It doesn't speak at all, but somehow it knows your intent. Um, let's roll that damage for dissonant whispers. Four. Five. Mm -hmm. Nine. Five. Fourteen. Four. Eighteen. 18 damage, you do 18 damage. So uh, this cockatrice starts whipping its head back and forth, hitting it on one of the uh, the columns that's near it, as you would normally find. In, in a, a cistern. cistern. Um, it starts like spewing liquid from its nose, trying to get it out of there, and is just absolutely enraged, but it is not doing so hot. And in addition to uh, what you've done damage-wise with dissonant whispers, um, this does drive it a little bit mad and inflicts it with fear. So the cockatrice starts to run away. Good. Um, now we find Bug, it's your turn. Okay, so this thing's at a little bit of a distance. A little bit of a distance. Okay, so maybe it's time for a little bit of a reprise, maybe a comeback story with a little thing I like to call crossbow nation. Okay, so Bug's gonna take out my crossbow, uh -huh. and I'm gonna swing this thing, and I'm gonna go, Coda, Coda, gonna take out my crossbow, watch. Just roll your d20 to see if you my hit. D20. Here we go. Three, plus two, five. Oh. Okay, so okay. that doesn't hit, but you do <laughs> have, uh, so uh, it, it it pings off of uh, one of the columns and hits another column and just whizzes past the cockatrice as it's running by. <gasps> okay, Bug gets so embarrassed. This is the most embarrassed Bug's ever been. I'm like, I cannot keep messing up in front of my heroes. So um, th th this is it. I'm gonna finally um, invoke duplicity mm -hmm. in a battle um, nice. the way I know I should um, as my bonus action. Amazing, so nice. um, do, you can do this within 30 feet of you, which is about as far as the cockatrice is. Do you yeah. have it near you, or do you want to like have it next to it and start giving chase? I am just going to put a second version of Bug in front of that cockatee. Um, amazing, great. Cockatoo poo poo, whatever. <laughs> cockatrice. Cockatrice. <laughs> That's fine. Um, great, perfect. Um, so that is your turn, Bug. We now have Fernie. All right. So, uh, okay. above game really quick, mm -hmm. uh, this hag is completely invisible, right? No, now, once it attacked, it oh, is no Oh, we now invisible. see it. Yes. Um, so, all right, while everyone else is going after this cockatrice, Fernie ca is going after this, this hag. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, Fernie is first going to uh, summon Beast. Oh, great. Uh, so, Fernie, like, uh, they're, they're like, they like, do this, their eyes shine white and all this stuff and everything like goes Ooh. crazy. And then like this beam shows up in front of them. Right. And then this small little beast nice. shows up. A very pissed off raccoon. 
Okay. Just a very, very chubby, uh, but but oh. pissed raccoon. Okay. Great. Uh, very fierce. Um, fantastic. Um, so you've invoked this beast. So it takes its turn after you. Yes. Um, so that was your action or your bonus? Uh, that was my action. As a bonus action, I'm going to turn into a wild shape. Amazing. What's your wild shape? So this uh, then, so Fernie summons this beast, and then he gets down onto the ground. He like kind of lays down, and then suddenly the vines, his vines start wrapping around, and moss starts growing out. And he transforms into a giant mossy viney alligator. Oh, I <gasps> love that. Yeah, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. Fun, um, amazing. So you're just getting prepped. Yeah, um, just fully geared up. And now it's the raccoon's turn. Yes, yeah. name him. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so Reuben the raccoon. Yeah. <laughs> yes! He's like, he's like, what's up, guys? Some All right, it's me, Reuben. How's it going? Woo! All right. This hag's going down. Yeah. Here we go. He, he, he runs on two feet. He does not. He does not run like a record. He's like he's like. All right, let's let's. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's just a guy. <laughs> he's just some guy, but he happens to be. Amazing. Uh, yeah, he's he's gonna go up and he's gonna he's gonna like start trying to <laughs> trying to get, trying to get this. All right, hag. roll to hit uh, as he's trying to get him. All right. This is the coolest thing I've ever. That seen. That is a twelve. Damn. Uh, let's see. What do I add to that? That's a twelve plus six. Oh, great. So Damn. rolled an 18 that does hit. Roll for damage because okay. this raccoon is the first one to hit the hag this All right. entire time. And uh, let's see. So uh, hit is 1d8. All right. Uh, that's an 8. 8? Oh, that's great. Uh, 1d8 plus 4 plus spells level. Uh, so that's a level 2 spell. 1d8 plus 4 plus 2. All right. So that is 1d8. Uh, you rolled 8 plus 4. So that's 13 damage. Yeah. Um, amazing. Wow. And amazing. he has multi attack. Woo! That's <laughs> actually Ruben's wild. Ruben's crazy. Ruben's, uh, it up. So Ruben's like, all right, let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> so Ruben is, uh, yeah, uh, laying down the law. Uh, go ahead and roll to hit again. Okay, okay. For that multi-attack. Uh, that's a one. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Ruben is just walking over and batting at the hearth hag, uh, just doing some major damage, and then he just sort of like turns around and is like so stoked. He's like, hey. He tries to hit her again and just completely whiffs it and falls over. <laughs> uh, just sort of like, <laughs> like in the, uh, like two inches of water, even though he's a spirit. Why not? Why not? Um, great. Um, next up. Wait, uh, <laughs> Bug just watched that whole, Fernie just do that whole thing and the raccoon, and I just went, it's crazy to see your heroes, it's crazy to see your heroes at work. <laughs> <laughs> Ruben's like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Ruben is just facing, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, Ruben takes five damage. Okay, so Ruben's at 25. Yeah. Ruben, no! Um, next up is Coda. Okay, and I'm kind of like amped up from the night before. I'm mm -hmm. kind of triggered from the fight that I just had yeah, yeah. last night. So I unsheathed Snake's Talon and my new sword, and I look at the hag and I'm like, you're mine, bitch. She <laughs> is a bitch. Uh, you're mine, witch. I cast True Strike, and it's like a light beam directly at uh, the hag. It's like a laser pointer. Yes. yes. Okay. It's like Wicked meets Star Wars. It's like Wicked meets yeah. Star Wars. Yeah. Then I uh, cast Blade Song, and it's like. And it's like nasty, nasty EDM that. Phil's nice. sister. Stinky. I have never liked this music. Ruben's like. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. His okay, little tummy just. So, <laughs> so go, Coda, given that, that is your turn, right? Yeah. Okay, great. Um, we now get back to the cockatrice. It gets away from your uh, duplicity, little shade there. Um, Bug it too. makes its way over to the corner. And in the corner, you see uh, what have previously appeared to be like pots of water, and it screams at one. And you sort of see that same kind of shimmer that you saw before. And uh, what appeared to you to be water before now breaks its illusion, and it is a second cockatrice that wakes up. <gasps> And starts charging at you. No, this is D&D, &D, bitch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Been going so easy on you. God damn it. Yeah, true, um, true. This first cockatrice just nudges that as its bonus action, and then it turns back to you, bug number two. Oh. And runs at you and tries to give a strong bite. So let's see here. It's bite. On bug number two? On bug number two. And it uh, rolls a third, excuse me, 16 to hit. Uh, what is your armor class? 
Oh, 14. So it bites into bug number two and is, is very surprised that its jaw is not able to find ground of any kind. Um, and it's even more confused because it's still hearing those whispers and are terrified. Um, so it's not quite sure what's happening. And that brings us back to the hag. Um, now this hag, for the first time, you are getting a clear view. It is not a little girl. It is not a shimmery, invisible thing. It is wearing long, broken robes, disgusting and drenched in fetid water, Ew. long, white hair, a shrill, twisted smile. And where you've heard stories of witches before, this is a very different thing. This is some kind of fiend. And it is looking at you once again, and it is absolutely pissed because you have broken the good thing it has here. So it's once again looking at you, Bug. And it is uh, going to use something called Vicious Mockery. Let's see, you're going to do a wisdom saving throw. Yeah, okay, here we go on a roll, on a 20, right? Yeah. D20. Okay, Bug! 15. Plus 15. two. Uh, so uh, it is whispering to you. You can finally hear it use language for the first time. It says like, the smallest one, not strong at all. And for whatever reason, as low as you've been feeling about yourself, these words just bounce right off you because you know that's not true. I've been meaner to myself, bitch. Is that all you got? <laughs> the hag hearing you say, uh, that all you got is aiming exactly for the exact place it hit before. And for anyone who's ever been flicked really hard twice in the same place, that sucks. So let's see if this hits. That is a 16 to hit. What is your armor class? 14. It does hit. It sure do. Um, now I have to roll these. You've had a hard day. Don't right. be my mom right now. I don't know what else to, I can be. <laughs> all right, so it is going to slash at your face and it does Seven, it does 11 damage to you, Bug. Okay, guys, I am at three HP. Oof. Okay. But um, I can I can help myself. Get, get out of there, Bug, so, get out of there. Yeah. How this, far, how, we're all right there next to it, right? You are, but it is unfortunately not your turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, but um, I'll figure it out, I'll figure it out. The second cockatrice that has entered the field is watching its master slash yeah. at your face. Seeing that you're weak and smelling blood quite literally in the water, It charges at you. They come at me. <laughs> and it is going to try to bite you, Bug, and it oh. rolls an 18, so it does <laughs> I go. hit you. You have just taken three damage. You fall face first into the water. Looking to the side, you can see a little bit of uh, blood trickling out, and you feel something from the cockatrice's teeth start to seep in, and we are in death saves for the first time this game. And we're just gonna have to wait to see if Bug survives next no. time. Ruben will save you. Honestly. Uh, Ruben, Ruben drifts past your little trickle of blood also face down in the blood. <laughs> <laughs> but he's also just kinda like. like <laughs> you asshole slap me, Ruben might be my best bet. Yeah. And that's it on this episode of Sword AF. Join Ooh. us next time and we will see you soon.